every stat I've ever read about like smiling or not smiling has been like, don't smile. Like, like for, guys, for women, smile. But for guys, don't smile. Yeah. And I hate my smile. And every time I, I, I think... really post a smile, every time I post a smile, I get more yeah, comments. Yeah, I think that, I think he's showing really? stoic. So you're talking about stoicism well, for men? Well, yeah. Fa I mean, facially anyways. But what I meant is that the, the, I think the reason for that is the guy has to be attractive in the first place. Because if he's not attractive yeah. and he's smiling, it's creepy. It is creepy. <laughs> See? I, it depends on the, the You know, timing. right. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. He looks like he's like whacked in the head. You know? Yeah. It's just, it's like, I mean, I, I, before I came on the show. Dang, and I was, we're still going down the radical, insane things we're just saying to each other. Smile, don't smile. Yeah, just right? be no, a fucking normal person. Smile see, some, don't see, smile that's, another. See, that's the thing. What are we, what are we talking about? See, that's, the, the, see, that's, a th see, that's the thing. Is like, what, what works and what does not work? I think both. I think just being if you're if you're if you're like, what's sitting, a, what is like, it what is it what is a here's normal what is you. what is normal to you? Not sitting not on sitting on your phone machine. being like should I smile at every photo or not because that's mm -hmm. what the stats say. That's what's not normal, guys. Mm -hmm. Just be your fucking selves. Yeah. Like she ah. said, it's not that. Well, you, go, you, you want okay. it? Oddly enough, we have the we have, we that. have that. Thank oh, you for that transition. Thank you for that transition. Thank you for that transition. Oh no, you're gonna want to watch this one. This one's for you. This this one is definitely Jory. Give me this one. Jory, wake up. <laughs> you should just be yourself, not because it will make you more likable, it won't, but because it's only by being yourself that you'll find people who like you for who you really are, rather than someone you're pretending to be. That's from Gwinda Bogle. And this was one of the biggest realizations of my 20s. The, the advantage of doing this thing where you sort of push off who you really are is that no criticism will ever fully land because you're one degree removed from the person who's being criticized. The disadvantage is that you're also removed from the person who's being complimented. And if you're only playing a role, you never fully feel connected to the successes that you have in your life. Any accolades or warmth that you receive won't resonate properly in your heart because it's not you who's receiving. It. It's the character that you're pretending to be. I think I think the issue with what Chris is saying here is just a function of language. Like when he says just be yourself, the problem is who I was when I first became when I was a, a second lieutenant in the military, I was a poor officer and I was I wasn't a poor navigator, but I was I wasn't as good as I should have been. And I improved. So are you talking I, about like authoritarian? Like no, no, what, I'm talking about in your, as a man, this concept of just be yourself is utter and complete nonsense. As a man, you must improve. That is your only chance. If women tell men to just be themselves so they can pick out who the fucking losers are quicker. Men, if they just be themselves, the majority, 99% of men, you will not find attractive. But the men you do find attractive, you don't realize, put in the work. They put in the work when it comes to charisma, their physique, and their business. And in doing so, they weren't themselves. If just be yourselves means to stay fat and stay eating ho-hos on your couch, you can stay <laughs> not getting laid for a fucking decade. Don't just be yourself. And the reason why Chris says this is something that worked for Chris is because Chris takes his shirt off for money. People who look like Chris can just be themselves. And so can the author who said that, Gwen, whatever her name is. That is not reality for most men. Most men have to improve. Just being ourselves is not a luxury we can afford. Now, who I am internally as far as my morality, for sure. And that's where he and I, I probably would agree. Uh, but my, my issue is, like, I'm not going to change who I am personality-wise. I'm not going to become an introvert because that, that helps other people or become dishonest. But in the situation when it comes to ma male-female dynamics, men must become, they must improve, and in doing so, they are not going to be themselves. They're going to be better versions of themselves. I think it come, when it comes to women, I mean, me... I always feel like I can be better every day, so I always mm -hmm. I always aim to improve every day. Mm -hmm. Some girls might not, but I, just, I, I for me, I know this isn't it, and I just want to be better every day. So. If, if you're a dude and you have massive insecurities about several different things in your life and it causes you to become a fucking asshole, the, the, the idea to just be yourself is horrible fucking advice. You need to go yeah. seek counseling or come to, some re, re, yeah. re, come to some recognition that, hey, I need to change my behavior. That's what maturity is, guys. Maturity and discipline are doing the right thing when it doesn't fucking feel good. That's not being yourself. Go being myself gym. is go staying in go bed. Gym. Go to the gym. Go, go to the gym. gym. Go to the fucking gym. Go to the gym. <laughs> what? Like me? If I was gonna be myself, I would just stay in bed. If I was gonna be myself, I would. What about eat be shit. your best self? Again, but be your best self is not yeah. being yourself. That's my point. It's improving. Okay. There's a delta yeah. between who you are today and who you are yesterday, and that's why I'm saying this advice is very poor for average men. Let's be real. The only time anybody is themselves is when they're absolutely alone by themselves with no one else around. Yeah, I, I, right. I, I don't. I don't think that means society that. changes. 
challenges you every in every direction you go, every door you walk through, mm-hmm. every situation you put yourself in. I, I got a different. I, I got another idea. Your personality and persona are completely fluid, and they change based on your location 100%. and your stimulus. I'm a so there is no such thing as being yourself mm-hmm. anyway. I have it doesn't even matter. Me and I have Avery me. Exactly. exactly. Just, like who you are. Different. Who you are is contextual and fluid. Therefore, be yourself. You also, would not know who I was. If you saw mean. me playing a Vice versa. Gig. Exactly. Yes. That's my point. So the, this concept. This concept. I understand. In a microcosm, when we're talking about just like who you are as a person, I kind of understand what Chris is saying. I just think Chris doesn't see. I think Chris is so famous and so involved with the establishment and so good looking that he loses sight Bree, of do what you think, most men have to deal with. Bree, do you think that there is a difference between what you were just saying and what 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 well, I think they were saying? You just interpreted it, interpreted it differently. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. I took that as him just saying, and I would give this advice to anybody: is you should always. Be yourself rather than try and impress someone. Because if Agreed. that person, like, I they, agree with you that. Know what I'm saying, like then, like they're falling in love, or they're they're becoming friends with somebody who you aren't really that person, right? So playing a role. But yes. I feel like you're talking about like evolving and not like. But those are, in my eyes, those are two different things. Yeah, I don't think they are because the the reason why I'm telling you that is because the literal neural pathways that I had when I was 22 and the negative mindset and the scarcity mindset I had doesn't exist in my fucking head anymore because I chose to improve. So who I am who or who myself was isn't there anymore. The concept of a self is fluid. It's like Eckhart Tolle says, the point of your ego is not to make you happy. It's just for you to find equilibrium. Yeah, but you should be honest with people about where you are in your okay. journey. Of course. Well, I mean, you, you, so you, you, should not, you shouldn't be like, yeah, yes Michael, and no, yes you know and no. You should it, be like, if you're, if, you are, if you're like, a, if, you okay, so far as off, if you're a salesman, you should never be honest about where you are in your, your journey. That's a bad salesman. <laughs> Number one. Number two. You're not a salesman, you're a person. Okay, but right? what, what, what I'm saying is don't be a salesman. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is everyone's a salesman and everyone has a brand. You guys have brands on your photos. You're not taking a dump. You're doing you're in a, some sexy pose. You're not actually being your authentic self. None of us are being our authentic self ever. It is not possible on a two two dimensional platform like Instagram for any of us to ever be ourselves. And so the point is what yourself is is fluid. Being yourself is impossible to actually fully, truly be yourself all the time with every person and who you are as yourself changes over time. And the correct answer is to improve. That is the correct answer. I That's agree. it. Well, mm-hmm. I yeah. pride myself as a chameleon. I can adapt to every situation. Boardroom, soccer mom. So, oh, consider, consider, consider having a horrible so Avery, mental disease. Who are mental you disorder. really? A multitude yes. of things. <laughs> if you, if you have a horrible mental know. disorder, you need lithium and, and, and fucking whatever, like an Lexapro. Anomaly. You need something. <laughs> then you're not yourself anymore. But the point is, like, if you're not, then you're jumping Percocet. off a balcony or committing murder. Like, We've that's the point. That's what I'm saying. It's like this concept of being yourself. Like, we hold on to it. Like, it's so precious. It is not. Our, our species is not here because we chose to be ourselves. Our species exists because we chose to fucking survive. Okay, so that's the me, reason why. Let me, I, let me jump in here real yeah. quick. I understand what you're saying. Okay. Like there's a difference between like one of the things that guys, when they start coming to the red pill or they start learning game or whatever, they feel like it's an act. I have to be somebody that I'm not. I actually have to go and say these things. This actually works. I got to wear the feather boa and paint my fingernails black and, you know, say these words and do all this stuff because that's not really who I am. Right. The problem is, is like, that's not really what it, that's rote memorization. That's learning a script and remembering the script when you're, pl- when you're play acting on stage or whatever else you are playing a role. So when, um, when, uh, an actor plays, when Jack Reacher is playing, or Alan Richardson is playing Jack Reacher, is that really him? No, it's not. He's just, it's just Alan Richardson playing that role. Yeah. Right. So he learns the lines and is that who he yeah. is when he's off stage? There might be some similarities because I've, he likes I've the character. I've seen reels of him but, like with his family but, and stuff. So, and he's like super but that's, sensitive that's, cool. that's yeah. one example. So there's a different, there's a qualifiable difference between acting and your authentic self. The yeah. problem is, is like when people say, just be yourself, that's some dismissive sh- bullshit for the most of the part. It's what most people say when they don't know what else to say. So if they say, well, uh, you know, if, for instance, the kid, the guy that was just on the show, the, the, the black guy with the eyes, and he was like saying, oh, I, I, I want to get a, I want to be married and I want to be a father and I want to have a. I just want to find my person. He's he was being his himself. being himself. And he's it's being so incredibly un- ineffective and terrible. To unevolved people. That would be my challenge to yourself. Well, what's an but, evolved person? But, but, hold, you but, said but, you he, didn't like but hold on, but he still wants no, I, love. I mean, but he oh, still did? wants love, okay. though, and he's not going to find it this way. But, but he's not going to find it with people who hold values like you do. Women who actually appreciate sensitive. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying like that would be all of us at this table, and that's fine. But women, will, the, the woman who will appreciate that kind of guy will find him. Like, but you see, but you that. see, he's doing that video because no women have found him. 
No, and yeah, he's got this. Like, he, in fact, the whole thing is basically a plea person, for they attention. Should, they should become somebody that they're not. They should become some guy who just doesn't give a fuck. He's okay, so that's that's, who that's where I wanted to get you to. Okay, so who gets to decide who I am? You. You. Right. So if I decide that I don't want to be that guy anymore and I want to be someone else, am I now being something that I'm not? Or no. is it because no, I just decided that I get decision. to I get to do yet. it? I think it's what's true to you, though. So it's like if you're basing it off of what she thinks or what she thinks or what your mom thinks mm -hmm. then no you're not being true to yourself if you're changing if just like even when he was like oh well if you want to lay in bed and be fat all day you're going to lay in bed and be fat all day but you have to be the one that wants to change that you can't mm -hmm. listen to mom are you going to get your fat ass off the couch you can't listen to your girl your whoever you can't listen to everybody else because that's not, also not being true to yourself so yeah being true to yourself would be laying down all day every day but if then tomorrow you say you know what i don't want to be fat anymore i don't want to lay on the couch anymore and tomorrow you decide okay i'm gonna go get that gym membership i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna work hard then not still being true to yourself it's just not the self that you were yesterday what motivated the change for you to get off your fat ass and get back in but it has to be within you because otherwise you're not going to follow through with it if you're always doing something for the next person you're not going to feel validated in anything that you do or you're not going to feel accomplished in anything that you do because you're not doing it for yourself you're right you do have to do it for yourself Right, but yeah, there's, there's still, why, there's still so pain that is catalyst get, for the change. You, you will I mean, only get what you've got if you keep for, doing what you've done. Believe it or not, everyone looks for validation. Like, of course. everybody. Of course. There's no escaping it. So, oh, man, I lost train of thought. So, <laughs> <laughs> happens to that. That's all right. Um, yeah, it's late. That's why. Sorry, guys. Keep going. But um, pretty much, I know what she, bouncing off what she was saying. If I choose to be a different person, I have to, like, be okay with the fact that people are going to bring up my past you know all mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. and if i'm choosing to be a specific way now until that's proven and can be seen radiated off mm -hmm. of me i'm always going to be associated with that one guy who was you know bad on the couch so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> that's how i look at it so. yeah see what i'm saying is this is that personality is not static Okay, it changes over the course of time. You're not going to be the, who you Absolutely. were two years ago is not who you are right now. And, and by the way, if, 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 Chris, if Chris Williamson heard us saying this, he would agree with us. He'd be like, yes, personality yeah. isn't static and you mm -hmm. should improve. The problem is this. And I, well, I think Chris would agree with what I'm saying. When Chris Williamson tells men to just be themselves, Chris Williamson is trying to be the dating coach that your girlfriend approves of. And it's not good advice taken out of context but i feel like again yeah. i just feel like maybe we're interpreting it two different ways Talk i'm sorry because i feel like he i took what he was saying saying don't posture yourself as somebody you're not not don't look don't seek to improve yourself right. he's just mm -hmm. saying don't act like what he's really you're saying not. is don't be incongruent with what you're projecting out there that's really what it comes exactly. down to right so it's does it seem like an act to you the the guys who do the worst when it comes to game and it comes to like picking up chicks and stuff like that are the guys who are incongruent yes because what they're doing is they're broadcasting and telegraphing like this one sort of image to them and they then they open their mouths right and you could tell that they're not really like that they're but dressing like that they're looking advice? like that they're presenting themselves Michael, like are you that. saying that's bad advice because you said it's bad advice which so one being incongruent because that's what you just said that's what he's saying mm -hmm. well so it's, are you saying it's that's bad advice? well it's 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 what are you playing a role or is that really who you are i have to deal with this or bullshit constantly be, which is what well you're pretty much and i'm sure mike has to deal with this too because every time anybody wants to troll you on twitter anytime anybody wants to give you criticism they're trying to test to see if you are authentically who the fuck you really present yourself to be so if people go oh Rollo really is not really like that in real life or anything like no i i, I am exactly who you see right here right now okay so when i do i play different roles when i go home when i go i'm hanging out with my dogs or if i'm going and i'm, I'm getting on my snowmobile and i turn into a sled neck all, all you know overnight people are like wow he, he's, he's a different guy no that's that's still me right if i play if i'm playing guitar in the band that i'm in right now that's still me mm -hmm. right so it's it's still authentic to what i'm about so how do you know that I'm playing a role? Maybe I'm just really good at it. Maybe I'm just I a really good actor. I think it's to everybody's interpretation. I think I it comes like down to what you do it for yourself, yeah. right? Got it. Yeah. Understand. But you're the one who gets to decide who you're going to be. This is true. Absolutely. And yeah. that's okay. what makes authenticity right there. Mm -hmm. I feel like we just beat a dead horse to bring it back to life just to fucking There you go. Again. See, Can that's how we do it. Next video. That's how we do it. <laughs> All right, if being yourself means being fat and fucking lazy, don't fucking be yourself. Yes. Oh my don't be God. yourself. Well, no, it, it's like, think about it this way. Should a, Well, here's the thing. If that's what you want to do, if you want to be the fat guy who sits at home and uh, guzzles you. down a beer, uh, eats a whole pie of pizza, and wants to watch anime yeah, all day, bro. should that guy be the one who says, you know what, I want, really want to get with a Fitness America pageant winner? You know what? 
everybody can dream. No. Uh, but, 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 but me but personally, yeah. I think that there's somebody out there for everybody there because yeah. for Actually, me, like you people see people and you're like, well, damn. And then you find out later, like, and I don't, I don't want to be like superficial or anything like that, but it's like, everybody has a type. Everybody feels the way there's people that people will walk by and be like, damn, they're fucking, I would never. And then all of a sudden they got their wife, they got their kids, they got their happy yeah. life. I think that like be, if you want to be fat and be and chug beers and watch anime, it's somebody so out there you. that wants to chuck beers right along right with you, with you. lay yeah. there, be stank, and watch uh, anime. All day. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just, I just I, if what you were saying was true, then there wouldn't be like this bottom fifth of men that have no but sex ever. But it is. But there's but a it bottom is. fifth of women somewhere too. Fifth of everything. No, no. But she said, not. she said, no matter what you do, there's going to be someone there for you. And, I, and the, the stats show that that's not the case. I'm not Man. complaining. I'm just where, saying. You, like where are you going to meet that person g- if you? At, at Walmart, Walmart under, under, the, yeah. under the under the age of thirty, yeah. under the age of thirty, two thirds of men are single, one third of women Here are single. Here y'all go. You gonna meet them at the um, Walmart at the Smiths? They having a sale. <laughs> you can get ten boxes of Twinkies for ten dollars. <laughs> they have like, a sale on Natty Ice. I'm telling you, the they're in there. They say, "Listen, we no, gotta get seriously. These Those are they." No. Like you said, there's somebody. For I feel like you're yeah. gonna find somebody when you're doing things when you're yep. doing things that are true to yourself. You're yes. gonna find somebody Be for true you when you're doing, doing stuff you. that you like to do. When you're doing stuff that aligns with what you're doing. I'm sorry. I just I really truly believe that as women, because men pursue you, you can you have the luxury of believing this. This is not true for men. Men cannot just exist and find someone. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. Men have to accomplish something or do something in order to be attracted to women. So why are they all these deadbeat men? That's why they made VR. What did you say? I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. I feel, I feel like I I had this argument with Dabrick. I'm yeah. sure the fans of the show know who that is. But I feel like like you are. I feel like you're advocating for people to be more shallow. No, I'm advocating oh. for people to be more nihilistic, but not shallow. Can we advocate oh, for guys to better. be to genuinely change themselves for the better? Yeah. Is that a difference between I, that and being shallow? You should be advocating for everyone to change themselves for the better, men and women. It's it should be this and to okay, change them yeah. and to change themselves for the better. They have to at least be motivated by a goal. What's the goal? I want to get hotter girls. I want to make more money. I want to be funnier. I want to have. I want to be. Off like five shallow reasons. Well, that would just be a why is that? Sh- but why, okay. why is that shallow? Okay. Why is it okay. shallow? Why, why is it shallow to want to have to want to get with an attractive woman? It's not. It's not inherently. I'm just saying that that's mm-hmm. like, if that's. Why is it shallow saying, to want to make a lot of money? You should just be. I'm just saying you should be with somebody who cares. About See, you. shallow is another like, one of those you, container you, you words. You know my favorite. My favorite thing is. You're putting a premium on that. That's what you mm-hmm. want to do. Like we were talking about before, the Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But I'm saying that not like, like what she's saying. Like there's somebody Sorry. who's always gonna want to be with you, whoever you are. If you're, if your whole just not true. Like that's a that's a that's a not true. But, but how is it not true is. when you have all these women that's with these deadbeat ass men? Like because, because they're not it, because, doing because, anything. Because, time out, time out. Because they're doing something. They're either charismatic or they're funny or they're good looking or they're good in bed. They're doing something. There's a bit of men who are doing nothing. But who says that the fat man that's eating Twinkies and watching anime is either not good in bed or like or any of those things? You, 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 you just all, of, all of you say it because you're not dating him. You're the How ones who say. Listen, you're not you're not dating the overweight guy eating a bunch of fucking Twinkies. I, no. I, 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 I like have... personality. <laughs> okay, here we go. I we can uh, just just hey, fella, fella, just okay, you guys. Real. We can have a whatever discussion you want, gentlemen. If you're here Stop watching this, cow. just notice that it is really good looking men and women telling you to just be yourself. I like men that's medium have. ugly yeah, anyway. Yeah, you're, you're I like not medium ugly. It's just like I've been. Too many people talking. Go ahead, Brie, one more time. But I, I'm saying you don't. How do you know who I've dated? If you look at the men that I've dated, you line them all up. You mm-hmm. could, you would struggle to find commonality. Because That's fine. I because, but right, because they had something going for them. But it's probably their personality. You you act like what I'm talking about. These these dudes don't even have personality. They're just sitting at home in their mom's basement. That you know, like guys who are super super charismatic and good speakers. They can be fat a little bit to a certain extent. We're not talking sixty percent body fat. That's too much. Thirty five percent. That's too much. Well, everyone has to have like a thing, right? That some that, that, that that sound, that that thing, that else appreciates. And in order to get that thing, and in order to get that thing, when you're a man, unless it's physical attractiveness or you you inherited a bunch of money, in order to get that thing, you must improve. As change a man, who you must are. change who you are. You cannot just sit there and be yourself. I think where this conversation has gone kind of proves a point in that women, when Michael said that there's something that women, uh, we can feel 
that because we're women and that that's just not true for men i think it's because naturally as women we think from an emotional standpoint you're yeah. thinking yeah. we're loyal Absolutely. we we want to love somebody we want to be with them for who they are and vice versa whereas the science of it says that men have men think a certain way and men and women think a certain way we have different needs different desires and different ways to meet those needs and desires to be able to procreate and create life and that's what whenever you think of what you want most people or a good majority want to either if they don't want to have kids they're definitely trying to fuck somebody so they're that's going to happen regardless and certain things happen within a man's mind and certain things happen within a woman's mind to get to that point and i think that's basically like a good example of where we're at because we're definitely talking about like emotional things about being loyal and all of that stuff whereas men uh yeah uh, guys I'm, I'm here to tell you like this is gonna be super controversial you're not enough i don't give a fuck what your self-help coach told you you're not enough you have to be better. If you can believe you're enough because you live in your mother's basement, you will continue to believe that you're enough. If you live on welfare, you can continue to believe that. In reality, you're not enough. You have to fucking work. You're a man. Yeah. You have a burden of performance. No matter what you think, you have a burden of performance. No matter what Disney tells you or what you, some, some, some dating coach you watch on YouTube, you have a burden of performance. You have to perform. That is the only way as a man you're going to be successful financially and with women. Period. No one's coming to save I you. Agree. If you got some good Dito, you might be able to get by because a lot of these <laughs> girls, a lot of these girls will accept Hilarious. anything from you. If well, you that's something going for D. you. That's something you had to work yeah. on the good D. There you yeah. go. Twelve inch stick. You that, there you go. Yeah. You I mean, look it. at Pete Davidson. He got, he got fucking Kate Beckinsale, Ariana Grande, and fucking Kim Kardashian. That motherfucker has butthole yeah. eyes. So oh butthole oh. eyes is, eyes is crazy. Wild. That so is mean. funny as fuck. Oh my god. But if you look at him, it's true. Now I'm gonna. I'm never. Never gonna unsee it. Never gonna unsee it. You're welcome for that.